At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The oil tanker Aris-13 carrying eight Sri Lankan crew was en route from Djibouti to Mogadishu when it was hijacked by Somali pirates. The ship was then docked off the coast of Puntland, a semi-autonomous region situated on the Horn of Africa. A rescue mission was launched by a combined task force deployed by the Combined Maritime Force Headquarters of Bahrain and international media reported that an exchange of fire took place. Residents living in close proximity to where the vessel was being held had said to Reuters that four civilians were injured by stray bullets. President Maithripala Sirisena instructed the commander of Sri Lanka Navy to rescue the captives in coordination with the armed forces of Somalia and Bahrain. Amid the battle, the captain of the ship, S.A. Nicholas, spoke to other Derna last evening and said that the lives of the crew were in danger as a result of the live fire. The captain also said to other Derna that over 70 pirates were on board and demanding a ransom for their release. He requested the Sri Lankan government to call for a halt to the firing. Accordingly, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Harsha De Silva contacted representatives of the Somali government and took steps to put an end to the exchange of fire. Subsequently, armed forces, including the Somali Coast Guard, were able to secure the ship along with its crew at around 9 o'clock in the night yesterday. <laughs> At that moment, there was nothing they could do. A special commando unit was involved in the mission. The unit did not board the ship or kill anyone, but surrounded the ship by boats and opened fire. When they started firing, so did the pirates. There was an exchange of fire between them and the pirates used us as a shield. But at about 9 p.m., the pirates became alarmed by the response they received. They understood that they could perish along with us if they held on to the ship. So they took the goods in the ship and fled. We are aware that the President, Foreign Minister Mangala Samarvira, Adaderana, all supported us immensely. Let's talk about this back in Sri Lanka. This is reported to be the first commercial vessel to have been attacked by Somali pirates since 2012. Meanwhile, the Aris 13 vessel and the Sri Lankan crew were escorted to Bosaso in Puntland by a French warship and a few Somali Navy vessels today. Relatives of the rescued crew expressed their relief and happiness regarding this latest development. I'm so happy that they are free. Everyone helped, especially Adaderana, who came promptly as soon as they discovered the story. The armed forces, foreign ministry, the president, the prime minister, all helped to free them. I thank you on behalf of all eight of the crew. The United Arab Emirates-based company which owns the ship stated that the crew will arrive in Sri Lanka on Sunday.